how to make a simple outro on Share Factory. The recent update, so Share Factory, uh, allows you to have two videos on screen at a time. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do an, a simple but pretty cool outro. Um, so let's get into it. Firstly, we're going to go with new project. And we're just going to imagine, uh, for an example, that say I'm a Star Wars Battlefront themed channel. Obviously you might not be, so you might want to go for like a basic one or anything. It doesn't actually matter for the background, but we'll go for it. Uh, and we'll just have one of these little clips uh, added on. So we just start the project. Uh, we could rename it, but we're not going to bother because I'm just going to show you. So this, this clip here has nothing to do with anything. Like we're not even going to be looking at it. It's just so we can start the clip start the uh, video. What you want to do is, uh, on here, you want to go add screenshots. So what we're going to be making at the moment is the background for the outro. So sort of like, you'll have the two videos you want to show, um, and then you'll have the background behind it with maybe some stuff like subscribe, or social links, or anything like that. Uh, so for this one, I think we'll go for this piece of art. Um, and what we can do on here, if you can press X, you can go to add overlay. Uh, and then maybe add some text. So for us, we're just gonna go with something like um, I think I've already I've actually like done this a few times, so I can make sure subscribe to Self Destruct PS. Um, if you just wiggle it a bit, press X and then transform. You can move it about a little bit. There's a limited amount of space, so I can move this. But we're gonna put it at the bottom, so we have a little bit more space to work with um, for our for our outro. Just press X to leave it there, and you can do stuff like change the color. Uh, I'm just gonna saturate it so it's red. Um, so already it's looking, it's simple, but it's nice. You can also add little little stuff like uh, filters, there's some strange ones in here, like that. That looks pretty demonic, <laughs> but uh, we're going to go for something like some simple, like maybe saturate. That just makes it look a bit cartoony and, uh, and nice. There's also other stuff like uh, you can add blur around the edges, or um, what I'm going to do is do this time time bender which just adds a little black border on the edge which looks kind of uh, smart and nice so we're gonna leave it there if you are uh, want to add some other stuff um, you gotta be aware of the amount of space you're gonna have um, but if you do want to do some stuff like I don't know Twitter links um, you could do stuff like Twitter so this is kind of boring just to Twitter, and then we can have a little hyphen and the link, I guess. <laughs> this is kind of boring, but www.twitter.com. Or, you know, I, I don't need to do it, but there we go. Let's just say that's it. Say that's my link, but remember what you need to do is have the videos are going to be here and here, so you can't really have, um, you can't really have anything there. But yeah, we'll just we'll just say that's going to be ours. So that's going to be the background. Uh, very simple, very clean. Um, what you do is go into full screen by pressing L2. Once the little menu at the bottom disappears, you hold the share button to take a screenshot. If you've got the the buttons configured in a different way then you'll have to maybe press it or do something else. And what you do once it's taken a screenshot is a little box should come up in the top left. You won't be able to see it on here um, because um, there's this thing where you can't see like the menu on the, on, on the capture gallery and stuff like that. Um, so that's, that's a simple thing. What we're then going to do is just delete that quickly. Um, and then what we're going to do is add clip. So this is where we're going to be adding the clips that you want to see on the uh, outro. Um, which might be different on every video depending on how you want to do it or you want to put your two best videos at the end. Um, so the best way to find this is go to buy game and then go to share factory. That's where your recent videos, if you use share factory, will appear. So for an example, I'll do this video, which is my, I think, Battlefield 1 first impressions. Um, so we'll add that in and just get rid of the sound so I don't have to hear my voice. <laughs> um, so that. It doesn't really matter how long it is at the moment. Right at the beginning though, as soon as it appears, you press X and we're going to go to um, add track 2. So this is going to allow us to add another another video. Uh, so we'll go to add clip and you've got to find another video that you want to have on your outro. So um, let's go with a, a, a Battlefront video. Uh, what, what have we got here? 
there's one. And I think this is actually when I was when I was doing like a character video. I can't even remember what I was doing. Let's just get rid of the volume though, so we don't have to hear it. Um, and as you can see, what that looks like at the moment is just that. So that's not good enough for an outro because it just kind of looks wrong, um, and it would no one would want to click on the one in the top right because it's too small. <laughs> so we'll just go back to the beginning. Um, press Edit Track Two, press Square, and go to Pip Layout. This is going to be how the two videos are going to be laid out. So what we're going to do for hours is side by side, and you'll see what this looks like now. It will add a little background depending on what um, what theme you chose right at the beginning. Obviously, we chose the Star Wars Battlefront one. Then what you can do is press square. This is where it all comes together. We get to edit track two, press square, and we get to pit backdrop. That's what the background's gonna be. And you go replace, and then you're gonna scroll down, and you should be able to sign the one we just made here, which is in your screenshots. So let's just go onto it. Boom. So you can see where the videos come in. So you've got a bit of space at the top, a little bit of space at the bottom, but try not to, you know, you do anything in the middle, or it won't be seen by because the videos will be there. Um, but that's really simple at the moment, and it looks quite nice. Uh, so let's m maybe get to the 25 second mark, and then we can um, split the clip. So that's where we want it to end. Confirm, and then delete the rest. Um, and then we can also delete this random clip at the, the start, which we don't want. Um, so now we've got a bit of gameplay at the start, which is kind of a, a bit of a, a bit annoying without any actual of the, the edit track too. So what we're going to do is press square over the of, over the yellow bit and then move the clip and move it right back to the beginning so that they both start at the same time. Let me just show you how this works. So it starts just like that instead of it being all messy. Um, and then what we're going to do is just move it so it's we'll say at 25 seconds. I reckon 25 seconds is a long enough intro. And then we need to press square, go to edit track 2, and we need to make that 25 seconds as well. And how you do this is you trim it down. If you look at the bottom where the blue and orange bar is, the blue is how uh, long the gameplay is. If you see where the line, there's a lot of line in the blue bar, that's where the gameplay finishes. And then the orange bar, as you can see, is that long. You want to make the orange bar uh, slightly longer than the blue bar. And you might be able to see why in a minute. In fact, I'll show you what happens if the blue bar's longer. What happens when the blue bar's even slightly longer is this happens. The gameplay is there. So what you want to do is just go back to Edit Track 2, uh, trim it down, and make sure that the the, the orange bar is slightly longer. So there. It looks really nice, really simple. <clears throat> it It opens like that and it, it exits like that and that's literally how your video could end um, so we can also add some stuff like music uh, so let's think about this um, well it doesn't seem like it wants to play um, or it might be playing but yeah my sound just turned off um, so we'll go with um, what should we go with yeah, let's go with the Star Wars one actually, that'll look pretty cool. So we'll go with the Jedi main theme. <laughs> to be honest, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad music. So <laughs> we'll probably add something else, a bit more cheerful. Let's just uh, delete the music <laughs> and add something else. But we've got to add in the Imperial main theme. Yes! Come on! <laughs> okay. And then we just need to do the edit music. So we'll split it here. And then delete it. And then fade it out. Fade it in and out again. Um, we'll fade it in. Five seconds. Fade out five seconds, and then that's our intro, pretty much. If I just play through it now,
so yeah it's smart it's nice and what you can also do um, if you wanted to is on the in, on the original screenshot that we did you could put text at the top sort of above the two videos um, and then when you add in when you change the pit backdrop um, you can sort of have the titles of the videos above it but yeah that's pretty much it uh, I hope you did enjoy the video and learned something new um, that's all I have for this one. Uh, if you have any comments, then uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below, uh, and I will try and answer your your questions about about making outros. It can be quite annoying at times. I've tried it many times <laughs> already. I finally found a formula that works, um, and then from here you can just save it and export it, do whatever you want with it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.